Okay, here we are back inside Matrix Mode once again. Thanks for tuning in. Hope the videos are helping you in your designing process. If they are, please hit that subscription, smash that notification bell, tap on like, leave me a comment, good, bad, or indifferent, doesn't matter. If there's other things that you'd like to know about, drop that in there. If there's something that I might have left out, also throw that in there so the users can uh, get more knowledge. That's what this channel is all about. Uh, also, if you'd like to share the content, I really appreciate that. And if you want to donate some coffee to the cause, down around here there's a super thanks button you can donate some coffee to the cause in our last video we sh showed how to set uh, any kind of ribbon that you might want as a default and get all your default settings uh, in your uh, view your primary view uh, and your secondary view and how to set all this up so uh, you know in laptop users uh, maybe want to set it up a different way than uh, you know uh, uh, PC users that way you have two screens three screens whatever uh, so you don't need as much view space but a laptop sometimes you could use uh, more view space right so uh, check out that video if you want to more know about more more uh, know more about that uh, tongue tied there uh, but in this video, what we're going to do is kind of uh, keep that theme going a little bit. Maybe there's a certain way that you want to set it up as your default, right? So right now we set it up. We didn't have to do any special settings. We just set it up, closed it out, and it came back the exact same way, right? Uh, now, I do have my option, Rhino options in here, which that'll we'll talk about that in another video. Uh, but... Um, now we'll talk about our viewports right so we can make viewports bigger we can uh drag kind of get that little star thing right there or the four arrows and drag and, and move all this around right to get uh, different uh types of views out here right uh so right now we're set up in the four but there's all kinds of setups that we can do especially if you're working on two or three monitors or uh you know you're you're working on a laptop you probably want it set up differently because you, you need to be able to see a little bit more of certain things right uh so what we can do let's uh first of all if you get it all crazy out uh don't worry about it just go to your view, view tab and then just hit restore uh viewports and it'll just automatically restore your viewports back right now we can set uh, viewports we can change viewports so uh, or if we want to set it to default but first let's look at set view right so set view gives us the option to change it into any of these options change this viewport into any we want so maybe you want to see the bottom of an item uh, so maybe we should get a ring out here here's one that uh, uh, we're going to let's go ahead and just uh, hit no on saving that uh, we're going to design this item in uh, uh, Later on in this series uh, Just using the head builder, uh, which is really interesting uh, But let's say we have uh, we need to want to take a look at the bottom for some reason Right, so all we have to do is right click here on that tab or left click on that drop down right and go down here to uh, set view right and we can switch that viewport that one viewport that we have highlighted into any uh, one that we want so if there's something you might want to see a little bit more because you're going to be <clears throat> be design uh, be doing design work down here in the bottom or you need to draw out a curve at a certain place or whatever uh, you can set these to just about any one you want here's uh we have the right side out there maybe you want the left side so now we can see uh, both sides of the item right uh so that's one way to really quick the back of the ring uh, now we're looking at the back of the ring we got the front of the ring right so you can change them very quickly to any uh, uh view that you think uh, you might need right Let's get that back. To, let's go back. Let's go to view and restore viewports. And we got it all back automatically uh, by default. It'll take it to your wireframe. So you'll have to switch it back uh, if need be. Uh, so that's how we can change them up, right? But we can also 
do all kind of other crazy things, right? For some, let's say for some reason, maybe you want uh, to see a, a little bit different. You're going to be working a little bit, and you need to. See, you think it's a good idea to see maybe two viewports, two perspectives. So all you have to do is click on perspective, go down here to viewport layout, and we can split this one in a horizontal or vertical fashion. So let's split it in a vertical. So now I have two perspectives, right? So I can change them and move them around independently to get different uh, ideas from, right? Uh, or different views while working in a certain area or whatever, right? Uh, we have a front here, right? And we have a top. So maybe we want this one here uh, to be, uh, we want us to go ahead and split this one to a, a vertical and we have a front so maybe we want to see uh set view to the back right so we can switch it to a back so now we can see the front and back we have a right here maybe we want to change this one so we'll split this one to a, a vertical uh, and then we'll take this one from right and we'll go to set view and we'll make it the left so you can see how we can really start to and you can do the same thing with this one maybe this one here we want to uh, split this one in a horizontal, uh, right? And we can rename one of them, uh, go down here to our viewport layout or our set viewport, and we can lay it to the bottom, right? So we have top, bottom, front, back, right, left, and two perspectives. And you can make these any sizes that you want. Uh, dragging them uh, in different places. So you can really set it up uh, totally different, right? So let's go in here and say uh, set view uh, or viewport layout, and we want to just maybe make it a three, all right? This, we want this as our default. At any time after setting it up, you can do this. Even if you take this uh, and go down here to viewport, add a new one, and say you want this one, uh, you want this one on a different monitor. So you just drag it off, right? Uh, and then we'll just close out this one, uh, close viewport. And say you want this one plus one extra one that you can have on a full screen, and you can change that to any view you want. So I have the one over here still. It's it's still there. Uh, in my second screen right and i want that to pop up when i open up my default right so all we have to do is go to any cogwheel and then come down here to rhinoceros and right here uh, re uh default setup template and then you can hit save right so if we hit save here the current document is not empty and contains the following objects so it has this so uh, continue. No, we don't want to do that, right? So we'll close this out. We'll get rid of our item here and we'll get rid of all everything in there. So it just be the viewports that set up. So now we'll go to our default, go to our rhinoceros tab here in our preferences, and we'll rest. Uh, we'll set this as our default save default template. So we hit save. Uh, it has three gems. Okay, they're hidden. So if it tells you that stuff just go ahead and get rid of uh, I have them hidden so we'll just take those and get rid of that and I think everything else is turned off so we'll try it one more time uh, default rhinoceros uh, save as default and this file successful right so now when I go back I close out matrix and I come back in uh, the next day or a couple hours later after lunch or whatever, and I want to continue working, I can just open up Matrix, and it should save those those viewports uh, any way that you set it up as your default. So that's going to be the first thing that uh, you're going to see. And then if you want to manipulate them further at that point, uh, you can do so by you know just going down to resetting to four or whatever. Uh, so it's a it's a you know if you personal preference right and there we go now it's changing it to our viewport layout and we have the three and you can see that it's going to do that for your uh first uh primary and your secondary and i still have the one that popped up over here in my other viewport but i can't you can't see it over here for some reason 
there we go there it is uh it, it's popped up here uh oh top okay uh so you can you can switch that one to a different maybe you want to set that one to a uh front right uh but it's there and you it'll pop up each time that you uh go open it up right it'll reset your viewport so there, it's just a quick way let's go ahead and get rid of that one uh it's just a quick way to uh the viewports up in any way that you want to set it up uh, and keep it as a default now let's see right here there's one down here named name views we'll get to that in the uh, in later on in this series but that's a good one this one here is basically probably more for uh, architectural designing uh, and then the two port perspective as well uh, those two uh, offer kind of maybe for rendering and stuff like that for uh, architectural things and not very useful for uh jewelry uh but the rest of them uh are pretty much and name views we'll talk about that because that's a great way to uh get set things up for rendering uh so that you can uh do rendering very quickly in different views uh yeah, uh, and we'll we'll talk about that in uh, later on in the video. But it'll be set up in both uh, both of your uh, viewports, your your first and secondary. And again, now when you go to uh, view uh, and then go to uh, restore, uh, you can always go back to the four and then continue to keep working on it. Right. Uh, so that's just real quick on how to set the defaults for the viewport in any way that you set it up. Maybe maybe you, you're, you're you're tired of going through and moving things around when you first open up. You can just have it set up like this as a default. So uh, hopefully this helps a little bit. If it does. Please leave me a like, uh, comment, and uh, good designing.